DLT Pay, a stablecoin wallet provider in Tallinn, Estonia, has integrated Chainlink's cross-chain interoperability protocol to facilitate cross-chain stablecoin payments across Ethereum Layer 2 networks. This integration aims to simplify transactions and improve user experience. Layer 2 networks and cross-chain settlements are popular for e-commerce, salary payments, and foreign supplier transactions. DLT Pay will provide secure and reliable cross-chain transactions through CCIP and will also integrate additional services on the Chainlink platform to interact with external data sources and off-chain systems. DLT Pay's participation in the Chainlink Build program supports this integration. Tether has surpassed $93 billion in market capitalization thanks to a recent $1 billion USDT issuance on the Ethereum network. This growth is part of an aggressive minting strategy with a $2 billion minting event signaling investors' confidence and potential market price increases. USDC, backed by Circle, experienced a downturn due to the US banking crisis in March 2023. Coinbase is working to expand USDC's footprint, partnering with partners' platforms like Yellowcard for African market adoption. The Tron network has also played a significant role in Tether's growth as USDT on Tron is increasingly adopted as a global crypto payment system. PayPal's BYUSD stablecoin has seen a 72% increase in supply over the past month, reaching 289.43 million PYUSD. This has made it the 10th largest among all USD anchored stablecoins. The supply of PYUSD, which was introduced in August, had a total supply of 43.3 million, with the top 100 holding 99.99%. However, the supply has since soared by over 568%, reaching 289.43 million PYUSD. The supply has expanded by 72.4% in the past 30 days. Currently, 4,943 addresses hold PYUSD and the stablecoin has completed 29,592 on-chain transfers. PYUSD has become the 10th largest stablecoin by market value, trailing the market capitalization of PAX dollar. PAX is the entity behind USDP, collaborates with PayPal and serves as the primary issuer of the PYUSD stablecoin. In the upcoming segment, we will update you about the following news. DeFi protocol BlockGuard Inc.'s equity partnership with Pixelate Technologies. DAP sees 124% more users as NFT and DeFi gain traction. Keyrock set to deploy $10 million into the Radix DeFi ecosystem. Stay tuned for more updates.